Welcome everyone, my name is Alessio and in this video I will, I will guide you on how to create your own AI enhanced Telegram chatbot using the ChatGPT API. With this chatbot you can ask any question you want and it will provide you with an answer using advanced mo language models and machine learning algorithms. To demonstrate how it works, let's start by sending the slash start command to our uh, chatbot and as you can see it responds with a friendly greeting that explains what uh, it can do. So if you're ready let's start by asking it some questions. For example we can ask uh, how has technology changed our lives over the past decade? Answer me in a concise manner. As you can see the bot is uh, actually thinking and uh, in just a second, it will provide us with an answer. Technology has revolutionized our lives, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you can also ask, of course, programming languages related question. For example, we can ask, can you write a simple hello world script in Python and show me the code? Let's see. Perfect, sure, here's an example, hello world script in Python. Okay, this of course looks great. Then we can say modify the program you have sent me by adding a function that prints hello world. Let's see. Perfect. I mean, he defined the function, the print hello words looks great, and then he actually calls um, the function. So let's say comment the program and send it to me again. Let's see what it does. Perfect. Define a function called say hello, print the text hello world to the console, call the say hello function to execute the code inside it. All right, this looks perfect. So the best part, of course, is that you can ask anything you want and the AI will generate a response for you. So let's dive in and see how to create your own AI enhanced Telegram chatbot using the ChatGPT API in Python. All right, so to get started, you need to create uh, a folder and inside this folder, you need to create a simple file called Telegram chatbot, uh, chat GPT bot or whatever you want. In this file, we need to import several libraries that are required for building our chat GPT like uh, Telegram chatbot. We will start by importing uh, the first library that is uh, Telegon which allows us to interact with Telegram's API as a bot account. We will also import async.io for writing asynchronous code using coroutines and OpenAI, a Python module that, that provides an interface to OpenAI's API. For this tutorial, we will be using OpenAI's GP3 GPT-3 API, but it's worth noting that there are other APIs available such as the Whisper API for audio transcription and the DALI API for image generation. Next, let's take a closer look to our configuration file that you need to import in your main file. <clears throat> Here, we will need to specify several key settings, including the session name, the API ID and the API hash, and the bot token. You can get your bot token by messaging botfather on Telegram and following the instructions. Additionally, we will need to specify the model engine ID for the GPT-3 model we want, that we want to use, as well as the, your OpenAI API key. Returning to our main program, we need to configure both our OpenAI API key and our Telegram client by specifying the session name, the API ID, the API hash, and finally, um, the bot token. With this configuration uh, set, we can move on to writing our main function, that is uh, this one, 
uh, where we will call the run until disconnect method to start our bot and ensure that it stays connected to the Telegram server. Finally, we define the slash start command for our bot and extract the sender of the message. This will allow us to identify and respond to the user's request appropriately. Let's take a closer look at the handle start command method. First, we wrap our code in a try except block to handle potential errors, including the timeout error, which occurs when the conversation times out, the already in conversation error, which triggers when a user is already in a conversation and tries to start another one, and the general exceptions. In the case of an error, we send a predefined message to let the user know that the conversation has ended or that something has gone wrong. In fact, this is our predefined messages. Within the try block, we define our greeting message and start a conversation. We then create an empty list to store the chat history, like this, and then we initialize an infinite while loop to continually ask the user for input. We call a method called sendQuestion and retrieve result, which we will define next, passing the prompt, the conversation, and the keyboard that allow the user to stop the conversation. And the keyboard stop is defined here, as you can see. Let's define now the send question and retrieve result method in a more concise and clear way. Firstly, we send a message to uh, the user with the specified prompt and a keyboard that contains a stop and reset conversation button. Then we actually wait for the user to respond or tap the button by using the asyncio.wait method. Once the user responds, we retrieve the result of the completed coroutine and delete the message that was sent, like here. If the user has tapped the stop and reset conversation button, then a callback query.event is triggered and we return none. On the other hand, if the user has responded to our, to our question, we extract the user respond and return it. Now, let's handle the result of the send question and retrieve result method. If the method returns none, it means that the user has clicked the stop and reset conversation button. In this case, we send a message to, to uh, the user indicating uh, that the conversation will be reset and ask them to, to type the slash start command to start a new one we also break out of the while loop to end the conversation. If the user has sent a question message, we first send a like thinking message to indicate that the bot is processing the question. Then we append the user question to the chat history. The chat history is a list of dictionaries containing all the user questions and the chat GPT answers. This history is important because it informs the AI model how to answer the user's question. For example, if the user has asked about Python programming before, the AI assistant will recall this information and answer accordingly. All right, next we call the OpenAI API um, here by generating a chat completion. We pass in the model engine, the chat history, the max token value, which represents the maximum number of tokens to generate in the completion, n equals 1, which specifies how many completions to generate for each prompt, and a temperature of 0 0.1, which makes the results more focused and deterministic. After the chat GPT has uh, responded, we retrieve um, the content of the message and append it to the chat history, indicating that the assistant responded and not, of course, the user. Finally, we delete the thinking message and send our response to the user. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial on creating your own chatbot with Telegram and OpenAI. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Please feel free to try out more questions and explore the capabilities of ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will be happy to respond. Remember to keep coding and exploring the possibilities of AI. Thank you.